The Boston Globe is New England's largest daily newspaper. John Henry, owner of the Boston Red Sox, recently purchased the Globe and vowed to create a new standard for journalism. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me today in Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio is Michael Sheehan, CEO of the Boston Globe. Michael, thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks, Jenny. So your quote, you've been known to say, there's news and then there's journalism. Yeah. What's the difference between the two? Well, I think there's a basic difference between news, which is fairly easy to access. Uh, you can get it on Twitter every morning. You can get it uh, pretty much from a lot of different sources, and a lot of it's free. Uh, but it's not necessarily uh, news or, or, or information that's been well sourced, mm -hmm. you know, from sources who have been cultivated over years, mm -hmm. uh, well written, um, well edited, copy edited, uh, and fact checked. And I think that's what you get with uh, journalism. There's no substitute for it, uh, and there's credibility to it, and you can trust it. There's an incredible uh, amount of trust with what you read in the Boston Globe. Uh, and uh, that's, that's different than just news. Well, talking about that credibility and that trust, the Globe is as much as an institution in Boston as the Red Sox, as Fenway Park. So talk about what the new management is going to do to maintain that and to grow it. Well, I, I think, you know, when you look at the editorial side of the Globe, under the leadership of Brian McGrory, who's doing just an amazing job as editor-in-chief, uh, the quality of the journalism will continue to improve over time. It'll become uh, relevant, uh, more relevant every single day, uh, the, the examples of it every single every single day of the week mm -hmm. uh, of great insightful um, investigative uh, st it, it, it's journalism you just can't get anywhere else uh, and that will continue to improve and it's uh, incumbent upon uh, the rest of us the paper to make sure that uh, uh, the advertisers are in line to uh, to support it well let's talk about the advertisers a little how does the fact that most readers are reading their newspapers online yep. sort of change things for for the future of media well, it's, 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 there's definitely a transition going from print to online. Mm -hmm. um, it, it happens in, at a various pace. Uh, we still have a, 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 about 200,000 daily readers of the print edition, 300,000 on Sunday, um, and then uh, many more uh, online who pay for it on bostonglobe.com. Uh, and so it, it'll really be the, the quality journalism will be available to people, and how they access it will be their choice. And we will find ways for advertisers to be with the, with the readers as well and accompanying that journalism along the way. So access is important. For those at home that have been going to Boston.com forever and been also reading the Globe forever, yeah. describe the separation between Boston.com and Globe.com. Well, Boston.com is, is a different property from BostonGlobe.com. Uh, it, it tends to be, it can be quicker hits. Uh, it can be a little bit more lifestyle, it, but it's also breaking news. So if something's breaking, you're going to find out about it on Boston uh, Boston.com. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and great properties on Boston.com that people like to come back to regularly. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a little, it, it, it'll always be different for BostonGlobe.com. Um, and it will be, uh, my, my expression I like to use is, is that if, if, you're, if you're an information, uh, you can snack on Boston.com, but for a full meal, BostonGlobe.com which is the paid site, is, is, is where you got to go. Okay, so that saying comes from you as an old ad man. Okay, right. so now you're working the other side of the street, so to speak. How does that feel? It's, it's, it's different. I spent 30 years on the advertising agency side, but uh, it's really the same, uh, understanding the audience, uh, attracting an audience, and then uh, getting advertising in front of the, the, the Boston Globe audience is real. There's nothing else like it in New England. It's a high-income audience. They're civically engaged, they go to movies, they go to plays, uh, they're involved in their communities, they spend money, uh, and there's no other way for an advertiser to reach this audience in the Boston Globe. Well, we look forward to seeing how the Boston Globe and Boston.com morph going forward. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.